Miami Dolphins selected quarterback Tua Tagovailoa with the fifth overall pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. Now, as he enters the final year of his rookie contract, there is growing concern among fans and analysts alike regarding his future with the team. Recent reports indicate that Tagovailoa and the Dolphins are far from reaching an agreement on a contract extension. Negotiations have been ongoing, but the latest updates are not promising. According to ESPN expert Jeff Darlington, the team's current offer is significantly lower than the contracts recently awarded to quarterbacks Trevor Lawrence of the Jacksonville Jaguars and Jared Goff of the Detroit Lions. Right now, the Dolphins are not offering Tua Tagovailoa a contract that reflects his market value, Darlington said on Tuesday's NFL Live. Based on my conversations, they're not in the same category as Trevor Lawrence and Jared Goff. Just last month, the Lions settled any doubts about Goff's future in Detroit by signing him to a four-year, $212 million contract. This deal has an average annual value of $53 million, making Goff the second-highest paid player in the NFL, behind only Joe Burrow. Similarly, Lawrence secured a five-year, $275 million extension with the Jaguars, with an average annual salary of $55 million, matching Burrow's deal. The Dolphins' leadership has consistently expressed a desire to finalize an extension with Tagovailoa before the 2024 season begins. However, if their offer remains significantly below the new benchmarks set by Goff and Lawrence, reaching an agreement could be challenging. Darlington noted that negotiations are still in progress and could change rapidly. While he did not disclose specific figures, he emphasized that both parties need to work harder to reach a consensus. I've long been optimistic about Tua Tagovailoa getting this deal done, Darlington stated. These things usually get done, so I'm not saying it won't be done. But, Tua said, the market is the market which is the phrase that's currently overshadowing this contract discussion. Does Tua Tagovailoa deserve a substantial contract with the Dolphins? Considering the current quarterback market, it's difficult to argue that Tagovailoa doesn't deserve a significant raise. Despite a worrying head injury that cut his third season short, Tagovailoa has bounced back impressively. Last season, he led the league with 4,624 passing yards, recorded a career-high 29 touchdowns, and posted an impressive 101.1 quarterback rating. Given these accomplishments, Tagovailoa is justified in seeking a contract that reflects his market value. With Lawrence and Goff now among the highest-paid players in the league, it stands to reason that Tagovailoa should receive a comparable offer. As the offseason progresses, the pressure is on for the Dolphins to come to terms with their star quarterback. Fans will be closely watching how this situation unfolds, hoping for a resolution that secures Tagovailoa's future in Miami and ensures the team remains competitive for years to come.